So, it's a Sunday, it's not pushing down, sun's out, so I thought, you know what, I'm going to head out in the road and see where I end up. And here I am, I've landed in the town of Buckhaven. I have no idea what this town's got in it. Um, I'm wondering if it's some sort of haven for bucks. I don't know. So uh, let's do the ginger man thing and have a wander and see what we can see. Peace, Buckhaven. So basically, Buckhaven means gushing harbour. It's a gushing harbour. And here it is there. It was once a thriving weaving and fishing port. Um, and it's saying here that it had the second largest fishing fleet in Scotland. I believe there was a little bit of mining heritage here as well. Um, but again, it's reading here that this is part of a sort of Fife regeneration zone. Let's go and have a look around and see how this lovely town's doing, because it looks beautiful so far. I can see the sea. Bob's taxis. This guy from Buckhaven was awarded the Victoria Cross for valour in World War I. And he started life as a miner here in Buckhaven. And there he is there, there's a man, Robert Dunzer, Victoria Cross legend. We're walking in the footsteps of legends today. Man, check this place out. Another another absolute gold mine find in Fife here. Look at this. Mining and beyond. Picture house. New town. Lost village. Old Buckhain. Origins of Buckhaven. This people are saying that people have possibly lived here for over three thousand years. There's five collieries here in Buckhaven. Okay, so. It would appear that Buckhaven has an absolute grand history. I wonder if we'll find any tree swings here. Hmm. Let's walk on and see. Just walked past someone's garden and had a beautiful tree swing in the garden. Let's knock on the door. Excuse me. Uh, can I come and have a shot on your tree swing? Like this. So, is this the fear? I thought that last church was like the big church. Nope. There's another one. Right, I'm going to walk this way, I'll come back. So Kirkcaldy is seven miles away. We're seven miles away from Kirkcaldy. <laughs> the Lang So I'm just going to walk along here. I'm getting a little bit excited from this adventure because I'm seeing lots of things of interest. Artwork on the, the shop fronts. And it makes a difference for me. It's awesome. Look at this. This is a cool, this is a cool little centre. And the shops are all shut, but it's Sunday. Look at this. Oh boy. We're seeing a lot of stuff for the fishermen here, so I feel like this is a fisherman's town here. Look at this. Old Buckhine. Old Buckhine. Known as Mr. D's. It's awesome. If you go, will you send me a letter from America? That's a Proclaimers reference. But Caven has got some... something special here. Look at this, we've even got a wee bench to sit on. But Caven viewing bench, oh my days. Look at this. So here we go, all the stuff about the fishing as you look out into the fourth. 
is a famous harbour here, famous Buckhaven Harbour. Wow. <laughs> information board now about Buckhaven Bay which I think is this bit down here look how different it looks you just get to sit and check it out from here and these extremely comfortable uh, seats your bum sinks into them I'm like oh hello my bum is sinking into this so Buckhaven has some banging views with very comfy benches not gonna lie when I, th when I drove out to the inn, I not know where I was going to end up, but little did I know I was going to be in Buckhaven enjoying the chillest Sunday I've had in a long time. This is awesome. Next time someone goes, where do you want to go today? Fancy a walk? Go to Buckhaven. Go to Buckhaven. All those dolphins. They're rarely seen killer and pilot whales do swim in the deeper waters of the firth of four full week and dying individuals sometimes washed up along the coast. So see if we can see dolphins. This is a place with a very um, up and down history. Seems like it's a bit of a roller coaster trip, Buckhaven. It's had its affluent times, it's had its struggling times. Um, it's reaped benefits from the land, and the land has also, you know, proven to be problematic as well. Anyway, this is <laughs> now. This is amazing. As you're walking down to the beach, the harbour, there's a woodland trail. Just a short woodland trail, but it's a woodland trail nonetheless. Some people have made wee fires here. This would be a lovely po point to have a fire, aye. Right? Got a wee beach there. Ooh. It's tempting me to walk out here, isn't it? It's tempting me It's tempting me to walk out on this thing for the shot The shot of the water being careful it is all about being careful so here we are literally in the middle of Buckhaven Harbour of what is what is left of it um, interesting it's got a bit of shaky legs standing up here watching the water it's pretty nice so this has turned into a nautical themed fishy episode I find myself walking along the stones not looking for a tree swing but looking for some sort of I don't know, some sort of interesting washed up thing. What's that? I'm not going to touch it, there's a lot of rubbish on here, but this is it. So here's an actually point. We're standing next to the water and we think about the plastic that goes into the, the sea. Look at it all getting washed up here. Aerosol cans, aerosol cans. Plastic, plastic, plastic. Plastic, plastic, plastic. I don't know how big Buckhaven is, so I don't know even, I don't know where to go next, but I feel like I've walked the full length for the the harbour area, so I'm going to head back up into the, the main bit. Let's see what we can see. Oh my days, I see a dinosaur. I'm not even lying, there's a dinosaur painted on a wall. Look at that. That's pure art. Hungry seagulls, look at this cool stairwell. There's one thing Ginger Man knows about Buckhaven, is he knows Church Street. And you've got the famous Stuarts, the Butcher Stuarts, the Bakers. Um, not so much Baines around this joint. Look at this, Community Trade Hub, awesome. 
Again, reused like a buildings. Damn, I like it. This is awesome. Reading is a form of transport. Everyone is entitled to a travel pass. Go on your cell. That's a great, it's a great mural on the wall. It's a great bit of artwork on the wall because it's so true. Your imagination, books, whatever, transports you to anywhere you want to be in places like Buckhaven. Man, it just inspires. It feeds the soul. Favourite street name of the day so far. How it goes to? I don't know where Buck even ends and the next time starts. I'm just going with it. I'll go to the battery that has got 24%. What can we get out of 24% Buck Haven? I've only gone and found an orchard. So, Buck Haven just keeps on giving as we find an orchard. Look the apples. They look almost good enough to eat. Again, when you find yourself surrounded by nature all of a sudden, there's a calmness, peaceness to you. Even just this tiny little orchard in the middle of Buckhaven. Lovely. So we've wandered into Den Beef, which is fine. So we're heading back towards Buckhaven where the car is. So yeah, Buckhaven, beautiful. If you haven't been here, definitely come. Come for a walk down the front where the harbour is. Come and read the signs, read the history, learn about it. The weather's been amazing and it's been so quiet and peaceful and I've absolutely loved it. I recommend coming here for the day, check it out. Get something to eat, walk around, have a cup of tea, have a sip of juice, have a pack of crisps, have a Twix, have a Kit Kat. Just come to Buckhaven, enjoy it, check it out, it's beautiful. Anyway, peace!